need more grace. Take more of me. Give me more of you. I'm here at the arena of liberty. It is you, Christ Jesus, I need. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Christ Jesus dwells in us in the person of the Holy Ghost. Because God is a spirit, 4, 24 of John. God is spirit, mm. and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Now, let me go with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> what is this? What is happening to the lady? And the gentleman behind her, on the floor he goes. What is it, sir? The power of God has touched this gentleman. Mama, what happened? My name is Rosie Estawanjiro from Kenya. Mm. Hey, I don't know what happened. I just feel something. Yeah. Hold the touch of God's power upon this lady. Rosie ah. from Kenya. Ah. Your problem will not know what has happened. Your competitor will not know what has happened, but it has happened. Say, so my, my competitor will never know, will never know what, has what has happened, but it has happened, has happened. In, the in the name of Jesus. Surely, Surely. It, must it must happen. Now, this man is very happy. He said, I, I, I am so thankful. My name is Munyam Felix and I come from Germany. Uh -huh. <laughs> Being in the presence of God, yes. through the man of God, I see the power working. It leaves me with that kind of a joy that God, <coughs> He is the same yesterday, today and forever. And He has already touched your issue. Oh my God, thank you Lord. My name is Munyam Florence. I'm from Germany. Mm -hmm. I'm just imagining how a strong person can be standing and the power of God is just pushing him and he has to give way. And now we see our sister Florence from Germany is touched by the power of God as the man of God offers him this prayer in Jesus' name. Boop, 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 boop. And the floor she goes. That is how your problem you are talking about will be swept off. The two men we are fighting. You. My name is Dado Tipagandenga. I'm from Zambia. What the man of God is saying is really true. Uh, there are two men that were fighting for me. The first relationship I was, it was not working for me because everywhere I go, it's like, I'm with my security guard, so we left. I end the relationship with him. Then the new guy that uh, I started the relationship with, one of my cousin's sister would tell the guy about my movement everywhere, even the places I didn't go. She started lying to the man. So from there, the fight starts. One day, early in the morning, this man invited you, and they had prepared one, two, three sausages. I want you to remember. Just three sausages. And you said, hey, how can I take only sausages? <laughs> man of God, what you are saying is very true. One morning, the same man invited me to his place. He prepared sausages, three of them. And he, I asked him, how can I have only, only sausages? sausages? Three? Very only true. like this? Yes. No bread, nothing, nothing. no beans, nothing. No. How? Oh. It's very true. You said, okay, let me just try some more. Where is tea? Why do you worry about all that? 
take the sausages. Yes. Okay, where's the juice? Bro, small juice. Okay, okay. let me take it. Juice. What you're saying, man of God, is very true. It was that day you started running mental. Very true. From that day, I ate the sausages and uh, I could not have myself. No peace? No peace, nothing. It was severe three months. You Very couldn't true. know yourself. You couldn't know what is going on. I couldn't know. Man of God, what you're saying is true. And I the, the, the biggest problem brought you here is total confusion. Very true. Actually, that's the same reason why I'm here. Um, it could not give me peace. Even when I find any man that is interested in me, I don't have peace. Even last evening, I came here with a man that I'm in a relationship with now. And um, over just simple issue, I got angry. And I even threw the coffee that I bought from here. I just threw it on the road. Where is him? He's seated. Hey! What causes me to even shift from my mother's place to start staying alone because I was run mentally. I couldn't allow my mom to know what I'm passing through. I shifted from since that time, I've been not having peace. Any little thing, I'll get upset, but I thank God I was not violent to hit some, but I could get so much angry. And um, the man beside me is the one that I started the relationship with. Uh, from 1st January. My name is um, Apostle <coughs> Professor Jackson. What you have said, it is quite true. 100%. The blood of the land. Here we are, watching you. <laughs> yes, man of God. I was once married to somebody who looks like her, with one child together. And uh, from nowhere, she just divorced. Who told you she has left? He, because she took me to court. We are watching you 24-7. <laughs> Even on your phone, we are there. Yes, but she what didn't happened? Call you. She didn't call you when you were here. And when you were sleeping and you turned at the wall like this, this woman watched you and did like this. While you were gone, baby, mummy, you must. This, my brother, said, ah, 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 what is it? <laughs> I'm just surprised. You know how is it that you're able to know that he was called and <laughs> you were not here? Your divine satellite. My name is Ernest Kangara and I'm from Kenya. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think you are a substation of divine power. <laughs> Man of God, I confirm, this morning I found a missed call around, and I, when I checked the time, it was 01, and she told me that the child was uh, sick. So that's how I spoke to her in the morning. Man of God, what you are saying is true. This morning, he told me to say, I received a phone call from so, so, so person. I was like, oh, okay. Because I knew he received a phone call. Then he didn't pick. I don't know either he saw it or not. He that changed one. like this. Exactly. He wanted to say. Yes. And in the morning, I was glad he told me about it. Because he was fearing what will happen. Yes, and over that issue, I have a friend, and though we met because of my friend, and which is also his friend, yes, and um, I would go to her and complain to say, you know, there's a say in my language, say, kumunda kudala sivuto lima. Hot firewood catches fire fast, something like that proverb. Woman. Sir. They have never separated. Okay. They are still intact. This, your relationship with him is zero. Thank you, ma'am. Don't disturb this woman for no good reason. Go back to your lead of Africa. She's enough for you. 
and she has no problem with you. We pray for you, the problem is solved. So, Professor, go and do research. You and her, it cannot work. Come, I pray for you, go and get another man. In the name of Jesus. Listen not to your wife. Have your peace. <laughs> Office, give me one thousand dollars. Give the girl. Have your peace. In Jesus' holy name. Young woman, if you don't have transport or whatever, this is one thousand dollar. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, help our professor with his lady of Africa. <laughs> no problem, sir, but like Jesus Christ. So, what is it, gentlemen? My name is uh, Richard Murenga Muela. Actually, I'm the bishop from Lusaka, Zambia. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm uh, actually surprised. Mm -hmm. To see, for me, what is happening to my brother from our own country is actually God wanted to bring them here mm -hmm. so that the problem can be solved. Yeah. I salute you, sir. God bless you, man. You're a good man. Bishop, we are going on for Bishop Richard from Zambia. He's being set free in Jesus' name. Mama, what is it? My name is Rose Pauline Manjandeka. I come from, from Kenya. Yes. Eh, man of God. Uh -huh. I'm shocked. Why? You went to their country. Uh -huh. Till I was like, eh, hey, I hope I could you. I'll come back to you for the brown man. What man of God has said, it is true. I met this brown man that you've said. He wanted to marry me after I've just buried my husband. But I refused him. I told him, I have to respect my husband. It is only four months in the grave. And this man, he educated me. I still have to respect him, even in the grave. I told him no. He wanted me to introduce him to my kids. I told him no. The work that I'm doing, he's the one who took me to school. So I still have to respect him despite his dead. Even in the grave, I have to respect him. So it's five years, and I've not married. And I refused that brown man. What you did was better and was good. Because Thank you, man of God. What he was doing to you was not a real marriage. Thank you, man of God. He presented money as if money is love. I told him, I make more. By that time, my business was doing well. He was giving me 5,000. Then I'm like, I make 350,000 a month. This can pay education for my daughter. The money introduced to you, you call 5,000, <laughs> made you cry. After today, you sit down on a traditional chair. Yes. It is not demonic, but it's a traditional chair. And yes. you cry. They're asking you, why are you crying, mommy? Mommy, why are you crying? I don't know, but maybe I'm about to die. Maybe yes. let me go to my husband's <laughs> grave. The traditional chair that you said, it is true. I sat in that chair. I told my younger child, Lakwisha, I feel like I'm dying. I'm going to leave you guys. And then she told me, mom, you're not going to die. In the name of Jesus, devil go, don't kill this woman, Ali. If I were you, I would have been dancing because it is over. The house for the tenant. Ah, I receive. Because where I buried the, my husband, the, the they took everything. I have, have a plot building. that I wanted. You have started building the plot. Amen. I receive. Thank you, man. Who is this lady to you? My younger sister. Okay, let's hear from her. Praise God. Uh, I'm Maureen Andeka, Pauline's sister. I come from Kenya. Man who slapped you. Man of God, 
what you're you are saying is true. The man who slapped me, he was my husband. And uh, I left him, just came in, in the house and uh, he asked for food. And I told him, why should I give you food and yet you didn't buy for food and you are the man of the house. Then he was like, you are my wife and you're supposed to give me food. Who told you to get a tiny boy instead of a driver? It is true man of God. I even went to that house mm -hmm. and I told that man, mm -hmm. you're not going to swallow this. I cannot bring food from Kangware to my sister and then you want to eat. Then I told my sister, you have to relocate. Go to Mumias. Go and start a new life there. I think your breakthrough it is there, not so in Nairobi. That God. is her biggest problem. She's yes. always befriending tiny boys. That Instead is very driver, true. Even now she has a tiny boy. He had boy. a good man. She has that enough. man tracked her. Uh, and then that man found out that she's dating a... Uh, a tiny boy. Yes. But I uh, give her a driver, not a tiny boy. At 13 years,